Okay, here's a quick tutorial for smooth crouching and sprinting on the Unreal Engine 4 default first-person shooter character. So first, create an event for the left control input and make it so that when it's pressed, it goes into a Boolean that you'll create on the left side here. Uh, make it called is crouched and set it so that when it's pressed, is crouched is true, and when it's released, is crouched is false. And then you will plug them into this timeline. You will uh, make the timeline, plug the top one into play, the bottom one into reverse. And then inside the timeline, you will create a float track with this button. And you will make one key at zero, zero, and one key at one, and at point three. And then go back to the event graph. Uh, you will linearly interpolate the information from this timeline and it'll set the capsule half height depending on whether you're crouching or standing up because it will play this timeline forward or backwards. Then after it sets the capsule height, it branches off and it asks if it's crouched. If, if it's true that it's crouched, then it will move the first person camera to a new location and then you you linearly interpolate the current location of the first person camera to the target location which is taking the location of the first person camera and then m minusing 0.5 units so that the camera moves down when you crouch along with the capsule and then if this branch is false it'll set the location of the first person camera back up because this is positive 0.5 and this one is negative 0.5 and now these nodes are the relative location vector node and this is the vector interpolation to node so it'll take the, the vector location of the camera and interpolate it to so the relative location minus 0.5. And next for the sprint, you would make an event for the left shift input. And when it's pressed, it will set the max walk speed to the sprint speed. And it'll take from the character movement component. And then it will set the max acceleration of the character movement component higher by 4096. And then it will play a camera shift. And then when left shift is released, it will set the max walk speed back down to the walk speed instead of the sprint speed and it will set the max acceleration back down 4096 units because it's positive 4096 up here and it's all taken from the character movement component and then after that it will stop all instances of camera shake these nodes are just variables floats that i created uh and you could just set the speed to whatever you want and to create the head bob you need to right click create a blueprint class type in camera shake and click on this camera shake node I already have one created, so I'm not going to do that. So then you double click on the blueprint class that you just created and all these parameters will come up and you could copy my parameters if you want, but you could customize it to whatever you want and then you hit compile. And that's where you uh, put the camera shake in. Then, then you could just type in uh, play camera shake. And then choose uh, the camera shake class that you created in this drop down and then compile it and you should be good sprint you got a little bit of head bob it cancels when you when you unhold shift you crouch it smoothly goes down smoothly goes up there's no snapping right down like every other tutorial i've seen so yeah hopefully this helped hopefully this wasn't long